we have all have had powerful experiences where music has affected us and created change or transformation in our life, but most of those are random events. They happen to us, and when we start to take the lead and we start to become the DJ of our own lives and we start to program music in an intentional way, and that's really when it becomes powerful. And when we realize that we don't just listen to music with our ears, but we're listening with our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies at all times. So music's not something that just happens to us. It's something that happens in us. And these are a lot of the tools that I get excited to share with all of you is listening to music in a new way. Um, so I know that during my week this week, I had a lot of, you know, little challenges that kind of come up, not ones that have been necessarily um, pulling the rug out underneath me, but some of you might have had those as well. And every week, every day is different for us. And we need a place, we need a community, we need a safe haven that we can all come to to restore and rejuvenate ourselves and that's really where the idea of having a sound sabbatical came in because a sabbatical is really a rest right it's, it came from the word sabbath which is geared towards having that one day to restore and rejuvenate and to take care of take care of our soul and um, in my community, I have, a, I have a friend and colleague who literally took a year off, took a year sabbatical to really delve inward and to really, you know, to really find new things about himself. And I remember thinking, oh, my God, that that seems like a big, um, a big chunk to chew off for most people taking a year off. And even, you know, so for some of us taking a month off, I know for me also feels like a lot of time. And sometimes even a day off, right, seems like a lot of time when we're, when we're inundated with things and we have challenges going on. So the idea of giving ourselves a, a, a time that seems manageable to us, which for me, can we take an hour and come into a safe split not a safe place, a safe place where music um, can be an integral part of creating that safety, a recharging and re restoration from whatever challenges may have happened during your week. Put them on pause and just come into this beautiful, safe and sacred place with me. And I'm, I feel so honored that you are here with me um, for this sound sabbatical. And a lot of you have set your intentions for the session. If you haven't set your intention and you're just kind of tuning in, feel free to do that now. Feel free to post it in the comments so others can hold space for you. And while you're doing that, um, I am going to move into the first step in our journey together today. And that's opening up a safe and sacred space for all of us to be in. And I'm going to do that just by letting a piece of music come through. And of course, every time that um, we do these lives together and today for our soul sabbatical, the music's going to be different because the people who are tuning in from all over the world are different. And you are actually part of this composition that's coming through. All of your intentions that you wrote um, in to the to the um, stream here, they are coming through through that field of unlimited possibilities that I'm tapping into. So when I'm creating this music, I'm setting the intention to connect to something beyond myself, to create a divine collaboration that goes beyond me. So I am in this collaboration with Source, with God, which, with the divine, whatever you like to call it. And I am sending my love into this composition and sending it out to you. And you are welcome as well to receive that love and send it back to me as I am creating this. And with that, we will be orchestrating and conducting this beautiful field. 
So with that, I invite you to just close your eyes while I kind of get set up here. Place your hands on your heart. Give yourself a big breath in. Give yourself a big breath out. And just allow yourself to begin to receive, begin to feel what that intention would feel like to manifest in your life.
So just give yourself a big, big breath in through the heart and a big breath out, feeling more expansive, feeling lighter, a bit more rejuvenated. And that is really the essence of coming into coherence, coming into heart coherence. And where music is so powerful in doing that is because research shows us that when we are in these states of compassion and gratitude and kindness, all the higher vibratory um, emotions, that our heart beats in smooth and orderly rhythms. And those smooth, orderly rhythms are sending out information to the rest of our physical body. And when we're in these coherent states, it's not just affecting us emotionally where we feel, oh my God, that was so beautiful. Uh, but it's also affecting us multi-levels on the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. And on the physical end, when we're in these coherent states, we have the ability to increase our heart rate variability, which is a marker of our overall physical health. And it also, when our heart rate variability is increased, our resiliency to handle stress is much more optimal and more powerful in our lives. So when we can move to those states, um, we can affect our well-being and the ability for our physical body to heal more effectively 
because you're moving into what's called the parasympathetic state. And that's when your body um, has a chance to go on a sabbatical and restore and rejuvenate and integrate. And so coherence um, is, is an important part of, of our health overall. But the role of music and sound and vibration and what we don't always hear a lot about is that role of music in heart coherence is so powerful because with music, it can happen in a moment. I don't know how many of you felt that, but maybe there was a certain piece of, of that music in a moment where you felt the energy in your body. So let me know, did you feel that energy in your body at all? Did you feel the music moving something in you outside of just hearing with your ears? How did you receive that musical activation that you were part of, that you were part of that collaboration. So um, feel free to post that if you had an experience that you want to share within that because um, it's our individual coherence is also creating a group field. Right? When the group comes in together and we're all feeling in that coherent space and we're voicing it, then we are coming into a more unified field together. And this field continues for all you people who are watching this on replay. And, you know, I had the blessing of um, composing live music with um, Dr. Joe Dispenza in um, live events when um, his live events were going on throughout the world um, a few years back. And what I noticed is that you could feel the energy of the group coming in together. You could feel that heart coherence. And it was a kind of back and forth where Dr. Joe was conducting the energy in the room and I was orchestrating the music and it was just coming into this um, beautiful field of energy. And we would look at each other and we were like, we'd be like, oh, bang, home run, because we could feel the audience and coming and the participants coming into this state of coherence. So I know that we can share this field and that's how group energy affects the world. So when we're coming into these lives together, it's not just a Facebook live, it is like a global live. We're moving that energy out into the world and seeing it surrounded and that starts with each one of our individual, our heart coherence, being in those smooth, orderly rhythms. And I am going to dive much um, deeper into that as well in um, an upcoming course that I'm doing that we'll talk to you a little bit about mo more about that is really geared about creating the music of gratitude in your life because you can create a sonic exploration of gratitude with your own music and literally navigate your days where you want them to to go so with that being said that also has an effect um, when we move into heart coherence and we move into that presence like Sh um, sherry just said she felt presence and renata said she feels peaceful um, and some people are feeling things moving in their chakras, or maybe you feel clearer in your mind as well. And that's what happens when we move into these states of coherence. It's not only a heart that it works with, but also research shows that when we're in that state, that we're producing more alpha brain waves as well, so the heart and mind work together, and I'm going to take you on uh, a journey now of really reconnecting with that heart and starting that energy moving between our heart and our brain because it, it works together. The heart's intelligence is that knowing without knowing, that inner wisdom, and the brain is all about our knowledge, and when we activate them together, we create an opening of movement and transformation in our lives. So this journey is all gonna be all about um, moving and reconnecting with the heart. 
And what I'd like to say about that is, and I know during our week, and at least I can speak for myself, if you agree, let me know, that there are challenges that come in. And sometimes when we have those challenges, um, we, we kind of tune them out and we kind of numb ourselves or we disconnect. So did any of you have a, a challenge in your life this week where you just kind of had, had, felt that you had to disconnect or tune it out? Um, and I know that I did as well. We're all human, and there, there are ways that sometimes we do that, and sometimes it's on a subconscious level. But this sabbatical is really geared towards if disconnection creates the ability or c- creates the challenge where we don't want to tune in and we're tuning out. So disconnection um, equals tuning out, then wouldn't tuning in be symbolic of reconnecting. So what is it that you want to reconnect to? What did you put on pause this week when you were disconnecting? And what do you want to reactivate? What do you want to retune into in your heart? What's important to you to share in the world? And I'm going to take you into a, a guided journey of doing that together. Let's work with moving some energy, reconnecting, and tuning back in to our power, our passion, and our purpose. So you can close your eyes, place your hands on your heart, and I'm going to um, begin that process with you. Just give me one moment, and while I'm doing that, just breathe in and out of your heart reconnecting to your own vibration. So give yourself a big breath in through your heart and just release a sigh outward (sighs) and let's do that again together a big breath in through the heart and a big sigh out And when we release the sound of that sigh, it's a way that our soul communicates with us that everything is going to be okay. No matter what went on in your week or what's going on in your life, that we bring in the essence that we are being guided, we are being assisted, and the universe has an even better plan than we can ever imagine. The universe is working with us. And take a moment to just feel that. just feel the journey of moving your thoughts, letting them travel down from the top of your head, all the way down through your throat. Let those thoughts just dissipate and evaporate and just Feel them melting into your heart. You are not defined 
by every thought that comes through your being. And that there is an emotional intelligence that is constantly redefining you. And just feel that in your heart. Whatever your heart told you you needed to do this week, That you honored that and are honoring that now in this moment because you took the time to come here and reconnect with your own energy, your own purpose your own pap- passion, your own power. Feel that vibrating in your whole body, moving through every cell in smooth, orderly rhythms, pulsing into your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual being. And what is it that you are reconnecting to? What would you like to tune back into? in your life and now that the waters of your soul are more serene whatever it is you would like to reconnect to see yourself dropping a pebble of intention into those calm waters and feel that. That in the quiet, peaceful, saturated state of your soul's journey that you drop a sweetness a gentleness that ripples out in a powerful way and it reconnects you your own unique rhythm it resynchronizes you to purpose it acts as a catalyst for your intentions Just allow yourself to feel that, coming back home, tuning in to your connection.
you are loved. You are appreciated in this moment. your heart and when you release that love outward send it to someone else and continue to do that bringing in and breathing that love inward receiving it recharging with it and sending it out to someone else in your life live, wherever you feel guided, and then bring up that love inward, send it to every cell in your body, and feeling yourself recharged. Feeling yourself reconnected and tuned in. And just breathe that into your heart. And breathe it out. Welcome home to your heart. And it doesn't take long to come back 10 minutes for reconnection, for recalibration, to give our soul a sabbatical. And of course, you're welcome to come back into this live anytime you want to connect to that and connect to the beauty that has been created here today with all of us. And when that heart, that coming home, when it's tapping into your compassion and your kindness and you're moving into that healing state your heart is so coherent sending out those smooth and orderly rhythms that it affects your brain your brain waves begin to slow down as you move out of that thought process and the busy mind research shows us that our brain is slowing down and producing more alpha brain waves. And those are the brain waves that tap us into the creative energy. So it's creating that vision, creating that power, creating the purpose. And our brain starts to move into action and movement with our heart. So you get the best of both worlds activating your inner wisdom and knowing without knowing and tapping into the essence of your your being what your wisdom is and what your mastery is that you've created with your with your mind as well and so Today's topic was all about, because we listened to you when last week, I don't know how many of you were here last week, um, but you said you wanted to hear more about heart and brain coherence. So we took that seriously and we said, let's give them more um, of tools of how they can work with that. And another great tool of working with our, um, our brain coherence um, has been studied, and you might not know this, or you might know this, but the power of drumming. So there's been research that shows that when we are tapping into drums, which actually represent that universal heartbeat, that when people were in a drum circle together, that they were able to benefit many different conditions, everything from in Improving immune functions um, to, to working with anxiety, people who have PTSD, 
um, th were literally able to move into alpha brainwaves double what they ever had. So the drum, and especially at that 60 beats per minute, which I've talked about before, can take you into that trance state and allow you to move into brain coherence. So I am going to take you through a journey where we are activating those drums, that shamanistic and tribal energy that brings us all together with the drum beat in our body. And just allow the drums to take you on this journey. I'm going to guide you with minimal guidance through that. And then we will come back. And this will help ground you in, um, grounds you more into the physical body because we just took a very powerful journey together. So just allow yourself to take this journey with the drums, reconnecting you to your heartbeat and your creativity. And you can start by closing your eyes. We know that when we close our eyes, we're already starting to slow those brain waves down, tapping into our alpha brain waves and moving into trance with these drums is going to be very, very powerful for you. So start off with a big breath in, big breath out, and just allow yourself to receive. Take a moment and connect with the beautiful low frequencies of the earth. And now feeling the heavens and sky connecting with that energy. And just allow yourself to move to a trance state. With the rhythm of your heart. Feeling grounded. Feeling synchronized. And allow yourself to take the journey. Let the drums be your guide. Feeling them in every cell of your body. Feel the urge to move. Do so. Letting the drums dictate the rhythm of your body movements. And 
reaching that trance state, emptying the mind of all thoughts. Allow 
yourself to receive any guidance in this moment. to the room. And just feeling that connection, feeling that journey back to the heart. There's constantly a conversation that's going on between our heart and our souls. And no one teaches us how to have this conversation. It's not something that we discuss in school. And um, that's part of my vision and my mission is to understand this language of the heart and how music can activate this language of speaking and conversing and listening to our heart. So I hope you enjoy that journey. Um, and that um, particular piece is going to be a piece that's in an upcoming course. It's not available yet, but we are going to make it um, available to some of you today. Um, and Tarna is going to tell us a little bit more about that. Uh, but I just want to thank all of you for coming today. I hope it was a powerful activation and you want to stay to the very end today because we have some exciting news to share with you, some amazing giveaways, and um, I'm just so honored to be with all of you today. And um, we'll be also taking some questions um, in, in a short while, and um, I'll be here to answer questions for you as well, either about today's live or about the course that we're going to be offering called The Music of Gratitude. And I just want to bring Tarna back on to talk to us a little bit more about that and share with you this, uh, this amazing sound adventure that we're bringing in for the holidays to help everyone navigate through um, the holidays using music, sound, and vibration. Thank you, Barry. It's always such a, it's always an experience to be a part of one of these sessions. And of course, as Barry was sharing a little bit earlier, uh, this is something that I help him by bringing it to you guys or setting it up so that it can come to you guys. But of course, I'm sitting here writing co-hosts, right? And as you go through one of those sound journeys, you start to go into a meditative state and you start to feel things on a completely different level. Um, I'm expecting right now, my husband and I, we were about six and a half months into the journey and listening to that drum, drum activation, he was going wild and um, so thank you, Barry, for sharing that moment with me. And I'm really grateful to be here with you guys, too. And as Barry said, you know, we are getting ready to transition into the holidays. And before you go back out into the world, we wanted to share with you um, what's coming up. So before your areas of focus start to shift to your family and the holiday parties and the holiday gatherings, shopping and even holidays spent missing loved ones maybe this year. A lot of thoughts and competing priorities and energy get used and called upon in one way or another. Often we have days of immense joy while others can feel, be filled 
with stress, uncertainty, and even family members at odds with each other, sometimes even us. Like Barry was talking about earlier this week, you know, we're human, things have happened, things are going to keep happening over the next few weeks. And we all know that this is one of those times of year that just have some amazing highs and some amazing lows. And we want to help you be able to navigate that. Um, and there are things that you can do now to be better prepared. But look, the fact is that no matter what, it's going to be avoidable and that that's okay. Why? Because you are someone who cares. You are someone able to see that now. This also means that you are somebody who can be prepared to be centered and grounded, clothed in gratitude and have the endurance to not only have an amazing time of year, but be the light that someone else in the world may need to. And to do that, we want to open up an opportunity for you to spend two hours in a private online workshop with Barry. This will be a transformational experience that will guide you through a live musical attunement to deeply converse with your heart. You will also learn the specific immersion breathing techniques and processes along with sound tools that will help you call upon this at a moment's notice. So no matter what life has unfolding before you, Barry will teach you the science behind bringing your heart and your mind into the coherence that you need. And before you leave and again, take your brain and your heart back out into the world, Barry will guide you through creating your own music program. Yes, your pro program so that you can connect with the gratitude and coherence of your with your heart and brain. 365 days of the year. If this is something that you would like to experience and be a part of, would you let us know in the chat right now uh, if this is something that you would be interested in? And if so, is there something that you would want to achieve at this workshop or what will become a course that Barry's going to share with any of you that join this workshop? Now, Barry's, hard or Barry's time is hard for me to get scheduled and he's getting busier and busier. Um, and I don't see it lightening up anytime soon, but I was able to get a workshop scheduled on Thursday, November 17th. It'll be at 5 p.m. Pacific. That's 8 p.m. Eastern. So in order for us to keep bringing these to you, I definitely need your help by registering for this one upcoming event. Again, it's going to be a private session. I will share that link with you guys in just a moment for you to save your seat. Um, and as we've shared with you in our past sessions, our mission is to bring more peace and, calm and empowerment to the world. And on the evening of November 17th, again, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, he'll be hosting a private online event called the music of gratitude. Um, so go ahead and take a second now to grab your ticket. You can grab one or two tickets. And when you do, if you grab two tickets, you're going to interact with me or somebody here on the team to figure out what you want to do with that second ticket. So we will email you privately and find out if it's just that you're going to have somebody joining with you or if it is um, that you want us to send a private link to somebody special. Um, and sorry guys, um, the event's going to, again, he's going to be holding it on his private Zoom line where you'll be able to ask some of your specific questions as well. So for two hours that night, he's going to take you through a transformational experience that will guide you through the musical attunement to deeply converse with your heart. Share this specific immersive breathing processes and sound tools that you can call upon at a moment's notice. To grab your ticket, it's themusicofgratitude.com. And while we're here on the line today, you are going to see it at a special price. Once we wrap up, it's going to be going back. I do realize that the timer that I probably had set on that page is already expired because we are 13 minutes later into the session than we expected to be. But while, ever, while we're live right now, you can still get that special pricing. And after we shut down the live today, it will go back to its normal price for anybody who sees this as a replay um, or anybody who's invited to join the event after we're live today. Um, also, just before we began today's sound sabbatical, Barry shared that anybody who does join today will also be receiving that drum activation that we just went through. And that will be sent to you inside of a course after the workshop, along with um, some, I'm sure, other goodies that Barry's going to end up putting in there for you. But 
So please take a moment now to go ahead and save your seat. When you do, once you sign up for the November 17th event, you're also going to have a one-time opportunity to purchase Barry's music collection. This isn't something that he's made available before. Um, it won't be made available for the price that you see there today, but you will have the opportunity to take advantage of basically 18 of his most powerful CDs. It's physical CDs too that you're going to get shipped to you from Barry. And uh, last week at Celebrate Your Life in Scottsdale, Arizona, these CDs kept selling out. And when he came back and shared that with me, I insisted that we put together a special offer knowing that we were going to have you guys here today. Um, so it's just $97 to get all 18 of or eighteen of his CDs. That's just about five bucks a CD. Lots, um, could be a few gifts, but Barry's going to share here in a moment too a little bit about some of those CDs. And when you do, do get them, you're also going to get a video from Barry, a private video that will take you through each of the CDs in the collection and tell you when to use them, how to use them, and how to keep those as tools in your toolbox. Um, and I wanna make sure that covers all of the notes that I had for you guys. It does. Um, Barry's gonna answer a few questions for you guys now. If you've got any, go ahead and start posting those in the chat. But Barry wanted to share a little bit more with you, I think, too. So Barry, is there anything else you would like to add? Hey, Barry, we're not getting your sound. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so we have put a lot of um, time and energy into creating this course for you and really listened to what you thought would be helpful and took that into heart. And we also um, really, really wanted to keep this course down in terms of price so that everyone could attend and it would be affordable for everybody. So just to let you know that that's always a consideration. Um, that we take into account and also that, um, you know, navigating energy isn't something that um, just happens. It, it takes an awareness and it's like um, when an office is having problems uh, finding where they are um, losing um, profits or, in, or specific areas that aren't doing well, they bring someone in to look at how they can improve they are spending and improve their budget. And it's the same thing with energy. We, um, when we look at where we're spending our energy, and then sometimes it's on a subconscious level, what relationships we're spending energy, um, and where we want to spend more energy in terms of our relationships, looking at who brings harmony into our field and who brings dissonance into our field and how to determine which is which, then we can look at how we want to spend our energy more effectively so that we can share our giftedness in the world. And a lot of people don't do that till the new year comes in. And it's really about looking at your year before it's ending and where you spend too much energy, where you didn't spend uh, enough energy and knowing how to determine in your body um, as well where those energies are, are being spent when you're in a challenging situation or you're being sucked from your energy or when someone um, is bringing energy that is expansive into your field. You want to spend more time with that. So we're going to work with finding those. We're going to work with having more tools um, to utilize. And the whole idea is that um, they're not just holidays, but they move back into um, into the meaning of the word, which is holy days, not holidays, but holy days, how you could be connected uh, in a more sacred way during the holidays and bringing that into your new year and the sound tools that we can utilize to do that. So with that being said, if there's anyone um, that has any questions about it and, and uh, or wants to share, or if I can clarify anything about the event or about the live, I'm more than happy to to answer those and stay stay on the line until everyone feels that they've accomplished that. 
Awesome. Thank you, Barry. There are a few questions. Some were asking, how do I get the registered? How do I get the ticket? The music of Um, I think Celeste and a few others have already reshared that too. And we've got that there in the comments thread for you as well. And Claudia said, what do I have to do? So you're just going to visit the music of and sign up to register there. We've already had a number of you that have joined and have purchased your ticket. You may and Helene and Leticia, Brandy, Yogani, and Adriana. It seems like they're still coming in by the minute right now. Um, Joan and Ronaba. I know I'm not saying your name right, and I know how important it is with a name like Tarna to say it um, correctly. And it is mus uh, the music of gratitude, Kristen. I saw that you just posted a minute ago, music of the heart. It's the, mu uh, the music of gratitude. And again, that's here. Yes, it will be recorded. And if you do grab your ticket, we will make sure that you get that recording along with the drum activation as well. And then do you ship to Germany and Europe? No, it is just here in the States right now for the CD collection. However, you can still join the workshop on the 17th. Of course, that's going to be worldwide. And again, that will be at 5 p.m. Pacific. And if that's not a great time for you in Europe at that point, because I think that would be part of your sleeping time, um, you will definitely get the replay of that already too. Beverly Berry says, wow, what a deal. I think I already have all of Berry's CDs. <laughs> um, that's awesome. And Shannon's also asking, will there be a replay? Yes, there will be a replay. Claudia said, help me register. So again, that's the musicofgratitude.com for you to register. And let me scroll down and get Claudia up to some of the more recent comments here. I do a lot of meditation and holistic work. Music does help me reconnect and something the world needs. We are all healing from this pandemic and some can't afford courses, although would greatly benefit. Thank you for today and healing you are giving at this moment. Yvette, thank you so much. And please do um, share this and not only share it, but save the link for yourself as well. And then Karen asks, will it be recorded? Huge heart on says I signed up. Awesome. Thank you. And we will see you again on the 17th. Beck says, is this an online event? Yes, it sure is. It's going to be held in Barry's private Zoom. Um, and I think this is, I'm hoping this is the first of many where Barry continues to peel the curtain back and to take you into deeper and deeper sessions that are longer sessions, more targeted, more specific to the things that you guys are looking for and the things that Barry has to teach you that we may not even know that are available to us yet. Um, do, 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 do. Emily says it would really help everybody to join, maybe reconsider the time of the workshop. How can Europeans join if it takes place at 2 a.m.? You are so right, Emily. And no matter what, we still end up running into someone who can't get on. So we definitely will have it recorded and we will continue to do things at different times in different days of the weeks. Um, Leticia said, when would you ship the CDs? Barry will be shipping those to you here in the next couple of days. And Lynn says, can we ship to Canada? Barry, can we ship to Canada? Uh, I would have to look into that. I'm not, I'm not sure if, uh, we can do it out of, uh, out of country, but I'll look into it. If we want to get back to just grab their name and email and see if we can get back to them on that. Awesome. Okay. And then Beck says, is the workshop online? Yes, we got that one. It is online. Um, Yami says, I signed up for two. How do I get the second ticket for my friend? Yami, just reply back to us when you, you just received two emails. One of them is from Barry. One of them is just your receipt. The one directly from Barry, just reply back to us and let us know who you would like us to send that to. Or if it's just somebody that's going to be joining with you wherever you are locally. Um, but you let us know their email. We will send them their private link so that they can join along with the details. Um, and that you've gifted this to, to them. So please just reach back out to us. Again, it's going to be the email that came from Barry. Not the one that says notifications. That's your receipt. Um, and awesome. I'm glad that you got somebody. Oh, and Barry's got another piece to add. Go for it. Yeah, so I just wanted to add that um, you know on these Facebook lives we we love doing them. I'm going to continue doing them as well. But stepping into a workshop um, atmosphere allows me to dive deeper with you, 
and a lot of times I'm, I'm on these lives, I don't want to bring up emotional energy that we can't necessarily handle or work with. So doing the lives together in a more intimate group and setting allows us to move deeper in for people who want to go deeper beyond the lives and really have an experience that is transformative and also release things, you know, um, work with emotions that they don't want to carry forward and let go of um, and look at what they want to attune to. And sometimes it's harder to do that in a setting where there's hundreds of or thousands of people watching. But when you come into a sacred container, which is what we'll be creating together, we all had the, the experience of really delving and doing some deep work um, together. And so if you had even a um, an experience while you're watching their lives, um, picture that being magnified in terms of the expansion that is going to going to happen and allow you to really jump into the holiday season and move into your new year in in an amazing an amazing way um, so I really um, look forward to, to being with all of you let me know if you have any questions about the workshop itself I'm staying here till we feel like everyone has been taken care of and you feel like you want to be there do you feel a calling to be there um, with me and that's really what it's about are you getting a hit you know did you get a hit in any of your meditations and s some of you may and may not it's it's all about resonance and um, it's all it's all good we're gonna be doing a lot of these as well so and we're moving into a schedule of doing a lot of things in the new year so it's just important that you know that you're part of um, our tribe regardless of whether you're choosing this event or events in the future um, that you know this is um, this is the place where we want to be with you so I love it I love it and I want to take a moment to acknowledge those of you that have already that have continued to join Heidi joined as well Barry and so did let's see there's a couple pages of folks now Carol and Marie and you Rick Malfred Bell, Robin, Veronica, Tammy, Kristen, and Richard. Um, so thank you all for grabbing your ticket. And before you get oh, completely leave for us today, make sure that you have an opportunity to maybe even think about somebody else who might want to join you. And whether you purchase their ticket or you send them the link, um, think about what Barry was just saying. And if that calling is on your heart, um, share that with them as well. And let's see, Yami was asking, can I'm going to send it right back to you and you can answer this question too. Can the collection be digital, Barry? Yeah, right now it's not going to be digital because there's so many other ways to get my music digitally. Um, and just a note as well that although um, the quality of digital is very good, CDs are actually a notch up in terms of the quality that you receive when you're doing um, this type of work because the um, the the other files are a little bit more compressed when you're buying things digitally. So I wanted to offer it first in the highest format possible, and then we'll see down the line if I'm going to um, incorporate this for the digital as well. Uh, but I also wanted to let people know, um, all my tribe members in Europe who are talking about the time, that um, I've thought of that, of course, and the reason why I'm connected to uh, basically my recording studio is connected to the whole Zoom system so that the highest quality and fidelity um, that I'm doing in terms of the Zoom will be um, also available in replays. So time shouldn't really be a consideration for you unless you know you definitely wanted to be there live. But we just as thousands of people are watching this on replay, um, the replay is going to be um, the same quality and also it's going to be the same energy that we're holding space for at the live. So just to work through some of that for the people who may have doubts um, that that's why I created this environment where I'm inviting all of you into a recording studio that's based on, you know, 30 years of expertise in the field of sound to get that to you. So you may have even noticed that the sound on these Facebook Lives is a little bit more higher quality than some of the things you hear on Facebook. I've worked really hard to achieve that so that the sound quality um, is something that is going to have an effect on you. 
and it's not just a normal Facebook Live or a normal Zoom event. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Barry. Um, and so Heidi, I think that might answer your question too about the digital download. So there will be the recording of the event that you can always have. And then the CDs, they are the physical CD. May says, this is such a blessing, Barry. Thank you so much, Turner, for your support with this event. I have my ticket. Yeah, awesome, May. We'll see you. Um, Shannon's asking, is there a replay of today? Yes, there sure is. Um, Robin's saying, I keep trying and it's not showing up. If that that is, if you're having trouble accessing the link and you need uh, help, don't hesitate to just email us. You can definitely direct chat Barry or I here on Facebook, but you can email either of us to at info at barrygoldsteinmusic.com if you have any challenges with um, purchasing your ticket today. And let's see. I will be in a Dr. Joe uh, coherence healing session at that time. Uh, Beverly, don't hesitate. If you'd like to go ahead and still grab your ticket and you're going to get access to that information afterwards. And how awesome is it that you're going to be part of another healing session at that time? Um, Claudia said the music of gratitude. Yes, it's the music of gratitude. Um, the way that you typed it in, it's missing the E in gratitude, but the music of gratitude.com that will get you your ticket. Heidi says, is so generous of you, Barry. Um, Emily says, thank you for doing this for everybody. It is absolutely appreciated. And we've got a couple more folks asking about digital downloads. Um, Barry, we've got to do the giveaway here in just a moment, huh? And then <laughs> um, Beck is asking, do you send the recording? Yes, we will send it. My little girl is getting anxious to see her back here. She's like, are we ready? Is it November 17th? No, she wants out. <laughs> um, let's see. Shaf says, I would love to join another workshop, which is at a different time for Europe. All right. Well, it's going to happen. We're going to make sure that we have a session for you guys over in Europe. And it's awesome to see that we've got so many of you on with us right now um, from Europe. And let's see, Emily says, thank you so much for taking my comment. Yes, for Europe. Again, we're going to get you guys covered. That's for sure. And Barry wants to come on in and I'm going to let my pup out while he does that. Yeah, so I just wanted to also tell you that there's going to be some amazing um, breathing processes that are to completely new music that I have designed around uh, a specific mathematic um, code that is geared towards um, working at 55.5 breaths in a minute and actually works. Um, studies on a show that this type of breathing is very effective in terms of bringing in more transformative states. So I don't know if any of you have um, listened to James Nestor or read James Nestor's book, Breathe, but it's one of the processes that he recommends, which is called coherence breathing. And it is based on a specific formula that I had to analyze for the just the right beats per minute to take you through having 5.5 seconds each breath. And uh, it's very, very powerful. And I think a lot of you who um, do breath work are going to really have a an amazing experience with it. So these are just kind of things that I can tell you that I know that are not necessarily on the flyers, but things that I'm doing and working on. So someone asked if it's Gene Nestor, I think it's uh, N-E-S-T-O-R, and the book is called Breathe, uh, B-R-E-A-T-H-E. It's an amazing book if you're interested in breath work and how your breath could be more effective. Um, he has really done amazing research with it, and we're applying. Um, I'm applying these techniques musically because no one has really um, done that yet with music and some of the recommendations that he's making. So, um, in addition to that, there's going to be uh, live music activations, just as we did within this um, this event. And I'm also going to be singing songs that are geared towards creating a, a, a really heart opening and intimate um, experience based on guidance being around us. And um, we're just going to work with some really high energy in terms of bringing guidance in, as well as having that, that intimate conversation with the heart and 
learning more how to do that, when to do that, setting up unique programs for your days where you're actually targeting specific states at certain times of your day, when those challenging situations come in, that you're prepared, that you know that you have a certain music there to help you move through those states so that you're not um, spending a lot of energy in situations. Because when you're balanced and you're aligned and you're working with this coherence energy that we're talking about, you move out of reacting or overreacting and you move into states of responsibly using energy. So the ability to respond, right? Response ability. And when you're balanced, you can look at the energy of situations in a different way, spend less energy and not be caught in drama, you know, especially during the holidays where something that happens ends up being something where you're not talking to that person for weeks, months or years. Um, but you're really, you know, having the tools to, to go inward and have more energy for you, for your passion, for your purpose. What is it, you know, that you want to bring in to the new year? And I want to see that and hold space for that because I know that I need a team of people to hold space for my vision and what I want to bring into the world. And that's really what this community is about, that we're holding space for each other. We're sending love to each other. We're receiving love from each other. We're making that part of the experience, part of the sacredness. So that you feel like you're coming home every time we do an event, whether it's Facebook Live or, a, or a, a longer, deeper event. I always want you to feel like you're coming home in this community. And you know, I know that I do. Like I look forward to that this week um, in terms of coming home to all of you. No matter what was going on in my week, I was like, oh cool, I have this Facebook Live going on this week and I'm, and I'm really, really excited um, about this workshop because I can feel the power that all of you are going to experience in, in creating it. Someone said they had a problem um, with the CDs in terms of that. So I'll turn that over to you, Tarna, and whatever other questions we have. Awesome, awesome. So again, anyone that runs into any challenge with whether you're grabbing the CDs or your event ticket, don't hesitate to email us at info at barrygoldsteinmusic.com or message Barry or I directly um, here on Facebook and we'll make sure that we get that situated, whether we need to help you with getting the payments through or send you another link so that you can purchase those after the event. But of course, neither of us are looking at our messages or the emails right this moment um, since we are still still here on with you. Laura was asking, I was doing laundry and missed the announcement. I want to attend Laura. So again, it's the music of gratitude com. That is where you can grab your ticket. It will be on November 17th at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Europe. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and that, again, will be, there's a special price that's available to you guys until we hop off of the live today. Once we hop off, I will be going and adjusting that back to the regular price for the event ticket. Um, Hugh Tardon says, wow, that's great. Thank you. Yami says, I'm going to have to get a CD player. Barry was um, sharing that earlier this week. And you can actually get a CD player. Oh, boy, he wants to share a little story with you. Yeah, so I did think of that as well. And, you know, I, I kind of looked online. And you can actually buy a CD player now on Amazon for uh, like $20 or something like that. So just something great to have um, in terms of CDs. Um, you know, I think that um, um, getting that you can just carry it with you. And if you're traveling, it's, it, they're very light as well. And, and you'll just have them if you want to listen at that, at that slightly higher quality, that CDs. And you can then also, you know, you double click on the CD once you get the CDs. And when that CD opens up on your desktop, you can just drag all of those files into playlists like you normally would drag in anything else you know, into a playlist. So it doesn't stop you from being able to create playlists in iTunes if that's what you're using. Um, you, it just it just is a, um, a larger file, which is a higher quality file when you're doing that. And then if you want to use the CD, you still can, but that's a way to get the file digitally into 
um, into your libraries as well. Awesome. Thank you, Barry. And yeah, it's always a good reminder. And thank you for the reminder if we can just drag them into our playlist too. I'm glad that you know how to handle this stuff. Um, really quick, Eva, welcome, and Rebecca, and Barb, and Michelle, Laura, and Claudia, and Deborah, and Suzette, and Ramona. It is awesome to have you guys. It's going to be an amazing event. You know, last week when he was at Celebrate Your Life, he was sharing it with others. And we've got some folks that are coming in from that event too. Um, so we're really thrilled to have you all there. Um, let's see, Michelle was asking, can we post it again for the link? I will be posting that here again for you guys in just one second. And let's see, I think it's time to do a giveaway. What do you think, Barry? Should we give a giveaway? We had, okay. We had, there was somebody earlier who said that she shared it in her meditation event. She shared it or in her meditation group. She shared it on her profile and she shared it in a few other places in her community. And so Beck, if you are still on with us, would you please let us know? Um, again, Beck and your last name on Facebook is just LM. So if you are still on with us, please let us know. We would like to connect with you. And could you please send me, Tarna, um, bear your home address or Barry, whichever one you can get to the easiest. Um, Beck says, yes, I am here. Yay. Thank you so much for sharing that. And Barry, were we giving away one today or did you want to give away two? Uh, you know what, Tarna, let's give away, let's give away another one. Let's see. Then on that case, sorry, guys, I know that whenever I don't have Barry mic'd or uh, muted that it comes back through. Ellie Huber, Ellie Huber, if you are still on, would you please let us know? And your first name is E-L-L-I. Ellie, if you're still on, would you please let us know? And again, you're going to just send Barry or I wherever you would like that um, music collection sent to. And before I forget, I know um, Laura and Michelle, I had told you a moment ago, I would repost that link here for themusicofgratitude.com for the event. And let's see. Araya says, or Ariana, ooh, I love the way your name is spelled. What is the price of upgrading for the CDs? It's $97 to upgrade for the CDs and you get all 18 of them. Um, Robin is saying, congratulations, Serenity Sounds Vibrational Sound Therapy, ooh, I bet you've got an amazing page, um, is also saying congratulations and so is Janice. And Beck says, wow, thank you. And Yami says, congratulations. So Ellie, if you're on, please let us know. We'll give you just another moment here. Vicky says, congratulations. Um, and Barry would like to add. Well, yes, I just saw that um, a friend of mine, Patricia Bell is on the line and she said she's going to be sharing it. Um, and I just wanted to give her a special shout out because Patricia is an amazing um, medium and also an astrologer. And she actually figured out what day um, Denise and I should be getting married when we did. And she was so, so right on. So if you see Patricia here, uh, go check out Patricia's page as well. You can see her on the chat line. And I just wanted to send her a special big hug and tell you I love you and thank you for the work you're doing. It's so awesome. It's so neat to think about the tribe that you have, Barry, and the people that oh, you interact with. Ellie, it looks like you are on. Ellie, if you did miss it, or if not, you also won Barry's collection, music collection today. So please send either Barry or I your address where you would like to ship that. Again, that's Ellie, if you can hear me. Um, please let us know. And Barry, let's see if we've got any other questions here. I think we've pretty much done it on the questions. Um, Patricia says, I will be sharing on my Facebook Live Tuesday because I know what a terrific killer you are, uh, Barry. So that is really, really awesome. Thank you for that, Patri Patricia. And I'm going to skim back up real quick to see if there's anything else that we want to make sure we cover. I think we are good. All right, Barry, are there any other last pieces that you would like to share before we wrap up for the day? No, just it was uh, really amazing being with, with all of you today. I felt all of your energy. 
Um, I hope that you'll join us and um, for the event. And if you have any further questions, you can always reach out to us. We're always checking the comments and questions on this stream and on the replay of this. Um, and if you think that there's someone in your life who could benefit from this work um, and the event, please, please pass it on to them as well. Our goal is to be able to bring as many people um, into our events as, as needed and to be able to give our time and energy in a way that's going to assist them in sharing their gift and their heart in the world. So um, I love all of you. Um, also, if you get the opportunity, um, you know, check out some of our other platforms as well that are on Linktree. We're constantly po um, posting additional free things on YouTube for people who can't attend events um, and are having some challenges. I always make sure that we're balancing that out and giving, um, giving away things for free that they can utilize that are going to be powerful and transformative in, in their lives. So, um, I think one more person had a question there. Serenity Sounds. Will there be a Facebook event for the workshop with a purchase link we can share on our page? I think I'm going to be, and Tarna can um, validate this, I'm going to be doing a video for the event um, with a link on it that's going to just kind of briefly outline what the event is as we have done here. And that way um, all of you could come back and share that. Um, with that, or if you just want to post it, the music of gratitude uh, and share this live with them right now, you're welcome to do that until then. Zach. That's 100% correct. Thank you so much, Barry. Um, yes, that's exactly it. So you can share the music of gratitude.com right now if you'd like. When we're done today, we wanted to hold the container really tight for you guys um, that have been faithful to Barry in the community and give you the special pricing while we were live. And then after this, we're going to open up the event to uh, Barry's entire sound tribe. Go for it. Yes. yes, someone did have a question. Um, any person retreats in 2023 and there you know, absolutely is a chance of that. I would love to do. Uh, there you go. Did you miss, miss that or <laughs> go okay. ahead, Barry. Yeah. So um, there is a definitely a chance of doing more live events and retreats this year coming up, especially with the world kind of opening up more. I uh, just did a live event in Arizona and it was beautiful. Right before COVID, um, I did an event in Tuscany and it was just so magical and the people who were there, um, we just all had amazing experiences. Even people who kind of dragged their husbands there and they didn't know what was going to happen had transformative experience and people who didn't expect it. So yeah, just the best thing to do really is make sure you're following me um, on Facebook if you're not already following me and make sure you sign up for my email list. Um, and when you do sign up for my email list, you also get three free pieces of music and that's the best way of um, keeping in touch with all of you. Uh, as as uh, Sienna Ramirez asked if the 1117 event is going to be recorded, it is going to be um, recorded. Um, Lynn, who asked if there'll be a live event in Canada, uh, and she said that she was with us in Toronto a few years ago. You know, I am always open to doing um, live things and events. If you have a community and you think that you would like to bring me um, to the, uh, a live event and create something together there, absolutely reach out at info at barrygoldsteinmusic.com. Um, and, you know, it always aligns itself where it's supposed to. And um, I love traveling and visiting new places and, and new people. So... Awesome. Awesome. I just love to see how it grows. Um, Beck is asking, do I send it via Facebook Messenger? Yes, that is correct. And let's see if we've got any others up here. I believe we've answered all of the questions that I had seen. If there's any last questions, you can put them in here. Huge Heart On says, is it Dr. Patricia Bell that you were talking about? Yes, it was Dr. Patricia Bell that I was talking about. And, um, 
Yes, she is amazing. Definitely check out her work. And uh, Tarn, I have a question for you too. So, so once this is um, once this is posted on the on the replay or after the recording, they still have the ability to register, but it's not. It's at the uh, the different price, right? You got it. Exactly. So it will be available for anyone to join up until we start the event on November 17th. Uh, today's pricing for the discounted price is only to those of you that are available while we're live and while my hands are here on the keyboard with Barry. And then once we're done, we'll be taking that special discount price off and it will go back to the normal price uh, today. And as, as I'm going to probably butcher your name, but I'm going to say Miss Ramirez. She also joined and Ramona and Suzette and Deborah, um, which I believe I may have already welcomed the last three of you there, but I wanted to make sure um, that we did and really, really looking forward to not only the intimacy that we will be able to create in the Zoom event coming in November, but as Barry has already shared, there will be additional events where we will continue to see what we can do to deepen the connection that we can have between you and Barry and the music um, coming into the space wherever you may be around the world with workbooks and workshops and sessions where we get to really build a tribe together um, and just deepen our awareness and spend an hour or two every now and then um, going inward and taking these sound sabbaticals and taking these moments to actually um, call upon the wisdom that we have and what we've been learning, but sometimes it just needs to be recentered. Some of those real tough days, they have beautiful lessons in them, but sometimes they still throw us out of whack and how do we bring that back? Um, so thank you all so much for being here. Asuna says, I was not able to get the three free downloads. It is on the thank you page. However, if you go to barrygoldsteinmusic.com, you can sign up to get the download downloads there as well if you're not on the thank you page. Um, but uh, since you already did join, you should be able to go back to the email that came from our system. It will just say the from name notifications. And on there is a link back to the thank you page where Barry's three downloads are there. But if you're having any challenges, again, it's info at barrygoldsteinmusic.com. And we will make sure to get you all situated. And Barry would like to share another thing. Yes, for that, um, the person who was asking about Canada, um, I'm, I'm going to look into it after the live, um, but uh, we'll make sure that if, um, if that is available to you, um, if you've already purchased your ticket for the, for the event, just, um, just send us that, um, just show us the confirmation of the event and we'll look into it and then email you back so that you know that you can, um, that that's still available, that offer for, for the $97 for the CDs will still be available to you if we decide that we can move forward with that. And then someone else said um, they'll sign up if someone else does. So I don't know if uh, Lynn, uh, I think it was Lynn McCann said, I'll sign up if you will. So uh, I don't know who she's talking to, but I think all of you should sign up with Lynn. Uh, so that Lynn signs up because <laughs> we'd love to have you. There. Oh, I love it. Ariana also signed up and so did Ellen, but I'm not seeing Lynn yet. So I'll let you know when I see Lynn come through, if I do while we're still on um, huge heart on is laughing. She's loving it. Ellen said, I just joined from British Columbia, Canada. Awesome. We see you here, Ellen, and we can't wait to see you on the uh, live event as well. So I, I do have to give you um, huge heart on uh, just a shout out because that is like the greatest name ever. Uh, I hope that people understand when on the replay <laughs> that when we say that what it is, but uh, that is just an awesome name. So th thank you for uh, moving into the heart of uh, the heart of your name fully. Oh, I love it. Um, Patricia says, see you there, Lynn. All right. And then Lynn says, I didn't say that. So it's, oh, this just gets better and better and better. Well, Lynn, it sounds like you're coming. So you just grab your ticket at themusicofgratitude.com. Um, and then Lynn says that she's in Vancouver, Vancouver Island, Canada. Ooh, you live in a beautiful place. Uh, well, 
I really enjoyed our time together, Barry, and I can't wait to see what you bring. I know you're going to bring a whole nother level on the 17th event and some of the things that he's talking through and strategizing and dreaming about and aspiring to build for you guys in the coming year is nothing short of magical. So thank you for being here with us today. And don't hesitate. Please do share this. Make sure that um, those of others out there get to, uh, to have an opportunity to have a sound sabbatical too. And with that, Barry, you want to bring us home? Yes. So I thank all of you for still being here with me. It's awesome. Um, I've enjoyed every moment of it. And let's just give ourselves a big breath in through the heart together. A big sigh out. And uh, I can't wait to be with you again. I can't wait to be with you on the 17th. And thank you. There's all so much. Um, I love you all. And it's been amazing being with you. So thank you. And thank you, Tarna and Tarna team. Let's give Tarna a big yay. And um, and also Tarna's uh, family that's awaiting to come in. We're sending blessings to you on that as well. Mm -hmm.